Tonight, a memorial is growing for a Whittier police officer killed during an ambush. And tonight, we are learning more about the man police say shot him. He's been in and out of jail for years. KCON's Erica Mandy is live outside the Whittier Police Department tonight with the very latest. Erica. Well, Jeff, Officer Boyer's family called him, uh, Officer Boyer, a hero who served with purpose. And here outside the Whittier Police Department is still a growing memorial. People are still coming by to pay their respects. But tonight, Officer Boyer's family also has a stern message for Governor Brown as they learn more about the suspected gunman. It's a second night of mourning outside the Whittier Police Department as this community remembers Officer Keith Boyer. It's emotional for those who knew him and even for many who did not. My son's also an officer for LAPD, and so I feel that we're connected, we're family. I wanted to show my, my sons, you know, the, the importance and the meaning of, of paying respects and, and the authorities and what they do for us. Detectives say 26-year-old Michael Mejia is responsible for shooting and killing Officer Boyer and wounding Officer Patrick Hazel Monday morning. Mejia is a known gang member who has done prison time twice. His most recent convictions? 2011 for armed robbery. He served two and a half years in state prison. In 2014 for grand theft auto, he served two years. And after he was released in April of last year, he had five probation violations. But because of prison realignment under AB 109, instead of being sent back to state prison for probation violations, he spent time in county jail. The last time, he spent only 10 days there. He was released less than a week and a half before the shooting. Officer Keith Boyer's cousin sent me this statement. Keith Boyer's family hopes Governor Brown addresses this tragedy. As Californians, we will not continue to accept his ineptness. The community of those who serve deserve better than to be under the veil of lawmaking that does not ensure their safety. His family says they want to make sure Officer Boyer does not die in vain. I'm just showing appreciation to his family and my love and support. And it's really sad to see. Officer Boyer's family is even inviting Governor Brown to sit with them during his memorial service. They say they want him to see the ramifications of early release laws. Jeff and Susie. Eric Mandy reporting live for us from Whittier tonight.